Sapman was a little bit confused back there. We didn't really know how it was meant to go. Is everyone feeling cool? Is everyone good today? Everyone cool? Do you know what? I think music's one of them things. There's so many different kinds of artists that like, in terms of how good they were academically at maths or English. So there's some there's some you there's there's some incredible lyricists like Jay Z who who didn't finish school, but he's an he's he's incredible with his pen, he's incredible with English language. So I don't think I don't think <laughs> you don't, go <laughs> School is very important. That like, maths and English is very important, hundred percent. However, however, a lack of it should never uh, be a, like be something that stops you from getting your dream in it. But it's dead. It is important. So don't don't think it's not. Yeah. I guess for me, um, with comedy, uh, I done stand up comedy for a long time. So doing videos was like a bit of fun, and then it caught traction. And then you know, one sh one share goes on like just I'm just bait or. GRM daily or something like that. So um, I think, do you know what it is? It's like, I never really put the stuff out for it to go viral, it, it just happens. And sometimes you, you got a lot of these songs that sometimes song, songs will come out, get very catchy and then before you know it, you can just get signed. Like, what's that guy? Um, My yeah is different to your yeah. -y. Like, <laughs> yeah. But I think that was, that's, that's that, he, that proves that, you know, he put his stuff out on, on Twitter and then got a single deal. So I think it's just, it's one of them things, you know, with SoundCloud, just keep, well, if you if you enjoy it, just just keep doing it for you. You know what I mean? I think all that stuff will just will just happen. You know what I mean? I say one more thing as well. I say so how how old are you guys roughly? Sorry, seventeen. Seventeen. Okay, cool. So between like sixteen and seventeen. Oh, seven, all right, cool. I, I got you. <laughs> I got you. Seventeen. Straight seventeen. So cool. Even for for you guys, I say honestly, yeah, like uh, it's, I know it sounds very far fetched, but be being the age you guys are and and Growing up uh, in this time, like as in I say, like the YouTube generation, the social media generation. Honestly, as as I know, sometimes it can seem like the wild, wild west. For example, like my A is different to your A, and all these viral moments, and it kind of it feels like, how do you kind of have that viral moment, or how do I finally just get a hundred thousand followers? But I, I'm not too sure with all that. But what I do say, you lot's generation is hundred percent. It's the it's like the DIY generation. I genuinely feel like you lot have like the world at your feet in, the, in terms of like, you got social media, this hub where there's so much information and it is a crazy thing, don't spend too much time on it, but there, it is this crazy place where there's so many opportunity. You got YouTube where you can just go on YouTube and click any video and find out how to, how do I flip and fix a chair and you can YouTube that and it tells you how to do that. It's very simple things like that, but I feel like it's at, the internet is at your dispersal and there's so much opportunity. So. 100% use that to your ad advantage. Don't get too social media crazy and stuff thinking that's everything because it's not, but it's at your advantage. You don't know how to use it better than your mums and your dads. You know when your mum grabs the phone and she's mad looking and she, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, everyone's getting old now. You don't know, you don't know, you don't are savvy with it. Do you know what I mean? So I say you lot, now more than ever, I feel like you lot can genuinely be who you want to be. I know it sounds like a proper motivational, but honestly, like I feel like you lot's generation more than anyone can do whatever you like, so just do it, yeah. Um, new artists I'm into, uh, yeah, yeah, like, um, Tiana, why are you laughing, bro? Let me, let me, let me figure it out, bro. let me get there. Um, Tiana Major 9, anyone knows about Tiana Major? No. Who knows about Tiana Major? <laughs> yeah, come on, man. Uh, there's a guy called Big Zoo, who I think's really good. Big Zoo's very cold. Um, and, I'm thinking, how how new are you guys talking? I'm not I'm not too sure. Like new, 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 or like as in why are you coming fast? He's good. <laughs> yeah, why? <are> <laughs> Who got signed? Why are you coming fast? Do you get what I mean? He got signed, bruv. It's a mad day and it is just but, the wild, uh, wild Do you know what? Just just from someone who's like I think with stuff like that. Sometimes it gives a, you know, what he obviously he's like he done a, like a viral thing and stuff like that. But don't see things like that and think that you can't make it because I think obviously that's gone viral. You get signed and stuff, you get a t-shirt. But the harder thing is is sustaining that. So you know when I was doing that videos like cap the cans, it was it was it was, it was all fun. But then I knew I needed a plan for like a next couple of years. You see what I'm saying? Because it's funny when everyone's like, can you see you know you see you on the street, but. When I was doing all that stuff, I was I was I was broke. I didn't have any money. So online, everyone's like, "Oh, bro, I see you, man, like you. I'm trying to be like you, bro." Did it? But I'm like, you don't want to be like me. I've, I got overdraft right now. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, it, sometimes it, it, it's a different reality than the painter it, it, it pitches. You see what I'm saying? 
I, I went through the whole education system. I went to school, I got good grades in school. So I, now, now that I'm older, I'm able to say, yo, that's actually sick. So as much as I'm gonna go on tracks and I'm gonna say, yeah, I'm the baddest MC and I'm this and I'm this and I'm this and I'll do this and I'll do that. I, I, I feel like I do also have a duty to say, yo, that's all great, rapping's great and all that. But education, staying in school, listening to your teachers as neat as it sounds, that's genuinely, genuinely cool. I swear to you, when you're older, you'll, I think you'll just appreciate hearing things like that because it, it's, it's a lie. Education is an incredible thing, all of these things. So I feel like I just, as much as I'm gonna do one side of things, it's my job to also tell you the other side, yeah. Also, I think what I've, like one, you know, I think for me, what was always, I was also bad at was timekeeping. And I know a lot of like, when, you know, you come in late for whatever reasons and stuff, and they will get onto you like, why are you late, man? I think you like, you don't care. You're like, oh, shut up, man, why are you talking? Like, I, I understand, I've been there, but, when I remember, like, as I said, when I was in school, I'd always turn up five, ten minutes late and think, like, why, why are you on me? Like, I'm here, innit? Because you all say that, but I'm here, though. I'm here. Why are you complaining now when I'm here? But you don't realise, when, when, you, when you get a job, maybe it's like something part-time or, like, all those things count. I remember getting my first job, got in ten minutes late. They told me to go home. They said, just go home. Just go home. We don't need you now. Just go home. So I've learned that massively, like, people will get onto you, you know, be like, oh, you know, to be easy on time. But trust me, all those little ingredients... They work. So when you when you get into the real world and you're working and stuff, they all count. You know, when I go to important meetings now and I'm five minutes late, that's five. That's ten minutes for someone else's time. Do you know what I mean? So I I can understand. I, I remember when I, when I just came in now, there was a, a young guy who was late. You know, and, and like one of the other guys was getting onto him. And trust me, some of these people only do that because they care. If they didn't care, they let you turn in whatever time you want. And then you know, when you're failing grades or whatnot, you'd be like, "Well, why, why is he not telling me that I'm late, Lord? Well, like, why is he not doing that?" Like, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So I know it's a double-edged sword, but um, you know, that's one of the things I always learned. Like, especially now, you know, what I mean, to be like, yeah, I need to, I need to be on time. There was a point um, quite early on when that happened. But um, did you say you do music performance? You're a musician. I, I promise you. So anyone in this room, musicians, any creative, to be honest, whether you're a comedian, a musician, an actor, any sort. Our fields is, uh, I feel like what what no one tells you is it's a very, very grueling journey to get to that point where you even feel like you might have got a little something from it. I'm talking as in, the, for, when, when it starts feeling like it is paying off, that might be a very long time. But you got to proper trust the fact that you're going to get there. You need to proper trust at cool. I'm this person, I'm this good at what I do. I've got this much faith in what I do and my dreams over there. And you gotta have a proper, I always say it like I feel like if you're gonna be a creative, you gotta have a very, very uncrushable spirit an undeniable spirit, which we're human. So that's very difficult to say, to ask someone to have a spirit that can't, that's it's very difficult. It gets hard. I understand financial situations when you're chasing a dream and like you you got to work all of these things that comes into play. But I swear to you, you got a proper 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 be ready to continuously fail. Like you got like you got to be you got to be ready to wake up and like right, it's not working. Like it's not working. Like it's not it's not. I've tried all year. I've tried all year and it hasn't worked. And I, it's so easy for me to say that. Like as in, oh, like yeah, I've managed to. I've managed to make a career out of what I do, and it's very easy for me to sit here and say, like, oh, I stick at it. But I swear to you, in a creative industry, it's not like it's not like being a doctor where I can say, yo, like, go to university, get that grade, then apply here, and you'll more than likely become a doctor. It's not the same. It's this one in a million chance that if we're, this is the dead facts of it. Being 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 like being like one of the top comedians in the world, being like a top actor, all of these things. It's a one. It's a one in a million chance. It doesn't happen for everyone, and that's that's the facts of it. But what you need to know is you need to trust what you do and say, Nah, I don't. I don't. I don't really care who it's working for, or who it's not working for. I I deserve my spot at, to to be in, in the game as as a musician, as a rapper, as a singer, as an actor, as a dancer, as whatever. And you got to proper trust it, and you got to understand <laughs> honestly because it's a very it's very, very grueling, and there's there's a lot of times there's a lot that I'm, I'm I meet so many creatives, and they say like, right, I'm gonna I'm gonna give up. Like I've been I've been trying for X amount of time, and it hasn't worked. I put this much money into it, it hasn't worked. And then even I can understand it's annoying. Imagine if imagine you're like a 
you're, you're, you're a content creator on Instagram and then cool, you do get someone like, why, why are you coming first? And then he flipping blows up overnight and you're thinking, wow, I've been working on my craft. And even with that, you can't even look at my man and say, he don't deserve it because he does deserve it. He does deserve it. It's, it's, it that his journey is nothing to do with yours. You know what I mean? So it's about Xing all of that out and saying, I'm getting this and I'm going to do whatever it takes. Whether it takes one year, 10 years, 20 years, you got to do it. And, and, and unless you're, if you're not prepared to do that, I promise you, call it a day from now because you save, you save yourself way more time. Music, all of these creative industries is very grueling. But when it pays off and you're there, you'll deserve it more than anyone. And you'll know I put in all this work and I deserve to be here and no one can't tell me. So yeah, man, easy.